We're talking Tommy Terrapins this week on the Reptile Party's YouTube channel. Once again, to the YouTube channel for Calgary Reptile Parties and the YYC Nature Education Center based in Calgary, Alberta. I am Jason. This is a Diamond Terrapin. And I would like to give a shout out to Nathan, uh, for, originally from Colorado, uh, who now is working in New Jersey. I met him at the Ramstein concert in September, and uh, he's a big fan. And uh, it's been almost four years since Gail uh, stopped airing, but. Uh, it means a lot when people approach us and say they were a fan or what they loved about the show. So if you are somewhere and you see me, definitely say hi, because we love hearing that sort of stuff. Uh, this week, uh, we are talking about diamond terrapins. So diamond terrapins get the name because of this kind of diamond ridge along their back. Uh, they are, in my opinion, one of the prettiest of the aquatic uh, turtle species, especially ones common kept as pets. Uh, the nice thing about them as well is they don't get as large as something like a radio slider or golden threads or snapping turtles or things like that. Uh, the males are smaller. They average around 5 inches. He is a boy. Uh, the females uh, can get up to about 7 inches. And it is quite a noticeable difference. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when you see a large adult female, uh, it's pretty significant. They are found uh, from Cape Cod all the way down to Florida. And the cool thing about them is they are actually adapted to live in brackish water. So what that means is brackish water is kind of a mix where uh, oceans meet rivers and they create like these bays that are that are, have higher salinity. The amazing thing about these particular turtles is they can actually live in full salt water for extended periods of time. Uh, their skin is pretty much imperative, like salt can't get into it. It's a big word, I'm tired, it's been a long summer. Um, so they don't like absorb salt through their skin. Uh, like a lot of other animals do. Um, they have salt glands to expel salt, which other turtles don't have. And uh, they actually can distinguish between fresh water and salt water. When it rains, there'll be a layer of fresh water on top of the salt. Uh, they'll often be seen up there drinking that water or even sticking their mouths out of the water to uh, catch raindrops to drink their fresh water. So really cool animals. I actually have seen these guys in the wild in Charleston, South Carolina, at a uh, park called Charleston Landing, uh, as well as some uh, that were being rehabilitated at a sea turtle rescue in Charleston as well, at the Charleston, or the South Carolina Aquarium. So this guy here was a rescue. Uh, he does have a bit of damage on his face. Uh, so he um, also is a little, uh, he doesn't do well in deep water. Um, so his water is a bit shallower than you would normally keep them in. Uh, that affects his musculature a bit um, as well because he can't really deep water swim. If you try and keep him in deep water, he will get himself flipped over. Uh, he will struggle to surface. And uh, shortly after we uh, got him, we actually thought that he had drowned. Um, so we were able to resuscitate him, fortunately. But, uh, you know, that was kind of concerning. So he's kind of special needs. But our... Uh, our future terrapins will have proper setups with a loss of depth, which will help with their uh, musculature. And uh, we're going to meet them now. So there we go. There's our size comparison of our new babies, which we got in May, and our adult. Uh, so, you know, these guys, I think, were about four or five months old when we got them. So that was in May. So they're seven or eight months back. Um, I haven't seen terrorist diamond terrapins for sale in a while. So uh, we were at the Reptile Expo and my friend Cody Joe at uh, Red Deer Reptile Shop. Uh, he had the babies and I was like, well, I guess you're taking my money. He has a bad habit of doing that. Um, and yes, we got the babies again um, so we can kind of raise them up. Um, this guy, we're not entirely sure how old he is. Um, come back here. Uh, 
So, you know, and with some of his issues, we just don't know how long we're going to have him. And we love diamond terrapins because they're such an attractive turtle. And they're pretty, a lot easier for us to care for than other turtles. So they're a great ambassador animal to talk about and share with, with the public. Now, these are an endangered species. Uh, again, uh, collecting them for the pet trade uh, has definitely contributed to that. Uh, these guys were captive bred. Um, that's an important thing to keep in mind. You want to get animals that are captive bred, not wild caught. Uh, you know, let the wild animals stay wild. Our birds are being very chatty today. Um, they're threatened by habitat loss as well. Um, they were actually hunted to near extinction. They were considered a delicacy in the early 1900s. So they were nearly wiped out and it's taken 120 years to continue to rebuild the population. And also these guys, uh, a lot of what their wild diet is, is crustaceans, mollusks, small crabs, shrimp, uh, fish, as well as insects, they will be carrying uh, when they have the opportunity. And so, unfortunately, these guys will get stuck in crab traps. And unlike crabs, they don't gills, so they can't surface, so they drown. This is one of the biggest threats to, uh, especially sea turtles as well, getting trapped in nets, getting trapped in fishing line, uh, getting trapped in things, plastic bags, things that they cannot get out of, that they get trapped underwater and then they drown. So that is one of the biggest threats to them. Uh, of the aquatic turtles, I would say diamond terrapins are probably one of the better choices for someone thinking of getting one as a pet. Uh, just because they don't get as big as some of the other ones that we mentioned earlier. Uh, they do have a lot of personality. I think they're absolutely gorgeous when they're not jumping out of my hands. Uh, just the, the color and the pattern and the speckling on their legs and their head um, is, is one of the reasons why I love this particular type of turtle for many, 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 many years. So, big responsibility, you gotta have a filtration system, you know, you gotta keep them clean or they're gonna get stinky really fast. Uh, that's one of the biggest issues that people have is, oh, it got stinky, I don't want it anymore. Well, that's not a good thing. So, if you're thinking of getting a diamond terrapin or any kind of pet, make sure you do your homework, do a lot of research, make sure they're the right one for your family for the next 20, 30 plus years, because it's not fair to the animals to go on board. I don't want it, or get one for your kid. This is not a pet for a kid. Uh, they can be part of your family's uh, pets, but don't go to your six-year-old. Oh yeah, my six-year-old wants a turtle, so he bought them a diamond terrapin, and oh, they're not taking care of it. That's going to happen, they're a child. So that is our terrapin video this week. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we've got lots of other videos on turtles and tortoises that you can check out here. And hit the subscribe button if you're coming to Calgary. We have lots of programs here. If you're in Calgary, check us out. Uh, you can also support us on Patreon. Uh, three bucks, six bucks, and ten bucks a month Canadian. Uh, we also have a twenty dollar tier for people that are in Calgary. Um, that is our membership system. But you don't have to live here in order to take advantage of it. You get lots of cool behind the scenes. First look at our YouTube videos. Lots of exclusive content. So check that out. Uh, that is in the link below. And in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed meeting our little terrapins, and we'll see you next time.